Dear Ali, since I've been away, it's given me time to think. I know you said I wasn't right for the Athena, but I want to show you that I am. Please find inside the first item for your reconsideration. This is the dress I should have made for Lee in week one. I look forward to your response, Nyla. I miss you. To so call me back. I don't even know where to begin. So much has changed. Do you still like plaid shirts and kittens? <laughs> Obviously. Then some things are the same. <laughs> but what if you don't want to talk to me? The attempts I've made to say different. Right. But if you really wanted to talk to me properly, you would have told me about Satori. I'm kind of hurt that you didn't. Slightly I didn't, because turns out you're not great with secrets. I am normally. Uh, th that night was an accident. Oh, shut up. Hey, don't tell me to shut up. I thought you missed me. I do. I miss your bluntness and your face and your awkward kindness and your brain. You miss everything about the Athena, too. That's why it's good I've got a plan. It's from Ali. Nice dress, Nyla, but my decision is final. She doesn't know what's coming. Exactly. It doesn't matter. Right. Because I'm just getting started. We're electrically connected. We're lighting our own way. We've got this all together. No matter what they say. We'll weather any storm and we'll ride it to the end. Just stay connected. about your emotions, how you communicate them through your work. Now, this is a fine art assignment. You should be creating works that are an expression of you. But above all, I want to see progression. Lenny, you're an example of someone who needs to be improving now. Hey, I levelled up on Call of Duty last night. <laughs> what more do you want from me? A serious attitude. Life's not one long cartoon, Lenny. And this term really separates the talent from the triers. But that's what neither is. A trier. Probably why she's vanished off the face of the earth. Nisha, the only thing you should be thinking about is your own work. So get to it. All of you. What's she done this time? Well, but I dropped her off this morning. Yes, I'm aware she's truanted before. I'm not an idiot. Oh, sorry. No, yes. I understand it's a very serious matter. I will speak to her tonight. Oh, uh, right. Of course, yep. I'll be right there. I'm very bored. Are you very bored? Uh, no, I'm good. Well, you should be bored. All you ever do is work. That's not true. There's the band. There was the band, and there's... Well, yeah, you're right. All I ever do is work. That's why you need a me in your life. Well, to be fair, you are distracting me. It's not enough. You still have a pencil in your hand and, and a serious look on your face. Well, yeah, this term separates the talent from the triers. He's not even here. She just ran off. We should do the same. It seems a bit immature. Sam, I don't know if you realise, but you're not a grown-up. You don't need to be mature all the time. OK. What do you suggest? Feeding the ducks really counts as immature. Of course it does. Children feed ducks. It's basically all they do. <laughs> Fair point. Besides, I love ducks. They don't bother flying unless they absolutely have to. They're amazing. <laughs> that one is pretty cute. That one's Jacob and that one's Edward. And over there, acting like a princess, that's Bella. She's always like that. 
Nisha, how often do you come here? Three, four times a week. Oh, and I thought you spent all your free time plucking your eyebrows. Don't be ridiculous. My eyebrows are naturally perfect. And there's a lot you don't know about me. I like it when we work together, when it's just us. <laughs> what do you mean, it's always just us? No, for a while you ditched me. Yeah, and I came crawling back like an idiot. What is with you today? I'm bored. With me? 10 out of 10 for observation. So am I just meant to sit here, be bored and be silent whilst you do whatever it is you do for the rest of today? Unless you want to tell me why you've been skipping school. Not really, no. You realise they're considering turning the suspension into an expulsion? Yeah, I realise, but I still don't feel like talking about it. Then I may as well work. Also, I'm not apologising. I mean, I would, but I don't feel sorry. And you always taught me not to lie. Oh, of course. My words are like pick a mix. You just choose the ones that fit at any given time. I wasn't crying. It's cool if you were. It's been a weird time around here. Yeah, and um, I was just starting to think, no, actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. Come on, spill. Jamie's had a thing for Nyla since day one. Nyla again. What's with people? She's not that special. Right? I thought it had finally happened. We got together and she disappeared. But he still acts like I'm nothing. Wow. I thought you were kind of badass, but that was just pathetic. I mean, obsessing over some guy, letting it define you, and he's just some guy. Item number two for your reconsideration. This is the photograph of Jamie that I should have shown. That's a night jar. They've got pointed wings and they're similar in shape to a cuckoo or a kestrel. Wow, you really are a grown-up. Grown-ups always know about different types of birds. <laughs> I learned it with my sister. We used to spend hours doing this. But we should make a move. <gasps> we can't leave yet. We haven't eaten our picnic. We haven't got a picnic. But yes, we do. That's another thing you don't know about me, Sam Warner. I never go anywhere without a picnic. Why? in case we get lost and can't find our way home. Th that's actually pretty responsible, sort of. I mean, it's not going to help you find your way home. Yes, it would. I think better when I'm not hungry. I've got PB&J for me and ham for you. Sweet. Ham's my favourite. I know. Besides tin soup, it's all you ever eat. That's why I made it. <laughs> Good to see you putting in the extra hours. It's just an idea. What's going through your mind? Um, well, the figure is my dad, and he's really cool. He's a game designer. But then I figured that that's too happy and not showing enough depth. 
Then I've added the big rain cloud to represent the depth of rain, because rain is deep and rainy. Deep and rainy. Don't play games with me, Lenny. And don't play them with yourself. You know, it's all very well doing technically brilliant paintings, but what's the point if they don't mean anything? What are those? What do they look like? It looks like you expect me to work in my special, not workplace, which is really unfair of you. Misha, I learned a lot yesterday. I learned that you like ducks and picnics and that you pay more attention to my eating habits than I do. And I learned that you're a pretty great friend. Only when I want to be. <laughs> Noted. But after everything that's happened, I needed yesterday. Like you really need today. Why? You heard what Ali said. Things are about to get a lot tougher. And if you want to keep your place, you're going to have to work. And I don't want you going anywhere. What paints did you bring? Acrylics or watercolors? Acrylics, please. I'm not hiding. I just don't want to be seen by anyone. So, yeah, I guess I'm hiding. Nyla? Lenny! <laughs> okay, two <laughs> things. What are you doing here? And why are you hiding? And you look amazing. <laughs> that was three things. <laughs> yeah, never been great at counting. Ali's agreed to see me. Wow, okay, we definitely have to fist bump to this moment. Uh, but, uh, I appear to be too scared to go inside. Do you want a chaperone? Sounds old-fashioned, but, yeah, I do. Hey, Nyla! And Lenny. Another package. My jeans, for your reconsideration. But I'm hoping I won't need it now. Nyla, I didn't call you here to say I've changed my mind. It's to ask you to stop sending these packages. It's good work, but it doesn't change anything. Why? Because the Athena isn't right for me. Basically, yes. But how do you even know that? It's my job to know that. Right, but... But who I am is, is, is constantly changing. I, all the time, I'm, I'm, I'm like Play-Doh. What? You know when you were a kid and you'd make something out of Play-Doh and you've, you'd put it in the oven to set? Yes. Well, I'm still in the oven. I'm not set yet. I'm brave one minute and then, and then I'm terrified the next. I'm trustworthy before I find words falling out of my mouth. I'm, I'm optimistic in the morning before I'm running home to my mum and dad in the evening. And if I don't know who I am, how do you? I suppose I don't entirely. And if you don't know who I am, how do you know where I belong? You have a point. But I have to make decisions based on what's in front of me at the time, and I did that. So we're done here. But I have to get this.
Now what? You just glared at a chip. Do you have to watch me eat? No, but I mean, you really glared at it like, like you were judging it and looking down on it and it's a chip. What's your point? You're just not that great. I think you'll find I'm talented, handsome and unique. You're just some guy. That you've literally been obsessed with since day one? Yeah, I know. It's like I've been looking at you through a filter and now without it, you're just some guy. Some arrogant guy who thinks he's better than everyone. Even a chip. You were right yesterday. I have no idea who I am without Jamie, but I plan on finding out. Cool. But just a heads up, you might want to find yourself a new playmate. Being alone is dull. I should know. So we should hang out. Because you like me or because you like other options? The second one. Oh, badass Naomi makes a comeback. That was nothing. I can be far more vicious. <sighs> vicious is at least interesting. So, yeah, you're on. Just sit. Don't even know where to begin. I need to find you another school in our catchment area. But getting you into that school wasn't easy. You could just homeschool me. Oh, yeah, right, because I've got so much free time. Yeah, well, you used to, before you got this job, before Dad left. Well, is that what this is about? Maybe. I don't miss him. He's never around anyway. I miss you. <sighs> Wait, did you just...? I can say nice things. It happens. I mean, at Christmas, maybe. I miss you too. Maybe I could just be a student here. That way you get to work and we get to spend time together. That would be a perfect solution if you were five years older. There is Woodhouse. It's just around the corner and you could come here after school instead of going home on your own. That would be really cool, except Woodhouse is for smart kids. I'm not that academic. I just don't think it's right for me. But how do you know yet? You're not fully formed. You're like Play-Doh. <laughs> Mum, what are you talking about? Doesn't matter. I need to make some phone calls. Okay. Ah, oh, uh, Lee, you'll do. I need someone to look after my daughter. But I... Just for half an hour or so. I have no idea what to do with small people. Thank you. I'm not that small. Right. Yep. Good point. And I'm already messing this up. Maybe this will be the best. Oh! <laughs> OK, I'm no detective, but if I were to make a judgment based on your expression right now, I'd say Ali's officially lost the plot. Yeah. Something like that. Do you like it here? Mostly? You don't talk much, do you? I, um... No. Yeah, Nyla would be much better at this. Who's Nyla? Is she a student here? I don't know. Well, is she your friend, then? I don't know that either. Why not? That seems like something you should know. Agreed. So who do you hang out with, then? I, um, like my own company. I mean, I got that. But at least try and talk to me. I'm 13, not an alien. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, fair. What's your favourite colour? That would be great. We'll see you then. Yes. I know, I know it's just a meeting and there are no guarantees. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. I'll see you then.
Hello? Better get your check paid quickly, because you're coming back to the Athena. Really? Are you sure? Your genes are far from ordinary. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that Play-Doh to set into something good. <gasps> Thanks. So, going back to the Athena, no big deal. <gasps> Whoa, nice jeans. Thank you. No, seriously, <laughs> Mum, what took you so long? Yeah, there was a whole ten minutes where all I had to offer were monosyllabic grunts. So, um, yeah. Thank you. Is she always on her own? No. Good, because that would suck. Well, you might have to dial back the socialising for the next couple of weeks, because I'll be helping you revise for the entrance exam to Woodhouse. Oh! <laughs> I didn't just scream. Of course not. I didn't hear a thing. I struggle a little bit with this assignment, but I, I, I saw something. Someone. It's clear something significant has happened to you recently. It's right here. It's got depth, sure, but there's a helplessness. Longing. It's about how other people feel and how that can affect you. It's remarkable, Lenny. Thank you. OK. Lee, can you come up to the front now, please? It, uh, it's, um... It's about friendship. And, um, how fragile that is. Very good, Lee. Okay, before we move on, I have an announcement to make. Nyla's back. Sit down, Nyla. You've a lot to catch up on. Hi, guys. Hey, I'm sorry, I didn't... It doesn't matter. No apology needed. Ali, can we get on with our serious work now, please? Sometimes it just needs a friend. Being back at college is strange. Some things are the same. I really want to try this strawberry yogurt with my ham sandwich. I think it might be really disgusting, but I can't shake the feeling that I have to try it anyway. Mm. Yeah. Definitely disgusting. And other things are not the same at all. Lee, hey, wait up. Can we talk? We could, technically. But you don't want to. Not so much. It's just that we've got some stuff to figure out, and if we don't figure them out, then they're just left in my head, unfigured. <laughs> you should try living in my head. Nope. Don't want to talk to you either. Hey, hey! I've put a new filter in the coffee machine and I've cleaned the juicer. Oh, and um, we're nearly out of mangoes and this is my last shift. No what? This is my last shift. Things have been going really well, so I don't need to do my day job anymore. Are you happy for me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy for you. But you're crying. Yeah, I... 
don't know why. Is it because you're going to miss me? Um, perhaps. Uh, that doesn't really explain the sheer amount of water coming out of my eyes. So, what's wrong? I think it's because you're a connection to Nyla. And I don't feel connected to her anymore. Instead, I just feel cracked open. And raw and exposed. And it was better before when I was more like an oyster. Lee? You can talk to me. What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, what's wrong with me? No, you can't just go. This is my last shift and I need to finish it. Any clue why Alice called us here? No idea. Set design is about taking a simple space and transforming it. People come to the theatre wanting to escape their day-to-day -day lives, to be taken on a journey to another world, another story. The first thing someone sees when they come into the theatre is the stage. The set, the foundation of another world. Think about that as you work. The set you will design and make is for the winter's tale. You'll do most of the work at college and then transfer it here. You'll be split into four groups, design, building, painting, and props. I'm going on set. The next time I see this stage, well, I don't want to see this stage. I want to be transported to another world. Lee, did you find out what group you're in yet? No, uh, but one sec. Props. Oh, that's so unfair. I wish I was in props. Because me, 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 me. Also, me, 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 me. Attention. I've got to go. is done. I deserve that. I can hate you both. I miss you. So call me back. <laughs> okay, you can open them now. A cup of tea. Not just a cup of tea. This is, in fact, the first cup of tea I have ever made for someone I've been dating. Because none of them have ever liked tea? Because I never really liked them. Not enough to add hot water and milk and everything. In that case... I'm gonna try something I've never done before, too. Are you free tomorrow? Because... I want you to meet my dad. If that's not too much too fast or something. It's not. I'd, I'd love to. Really? Because I should warn you, he can be quite dad-like. He might even ask what your intentions are towards me. Will he also inquire as to whether I am born of good family? And your potential to provide a secure income. <laughs> OK, cool, because I got paid a lot recently just for wearing shoes. 
Yeah, I think I'd be cool with that. <laughs> I've been assigned to the building team, like some kind of labourer. Yeah, I did, and I bet your next question is going to be, Samuel, can you do all my building for me? It's not. I can build things using saws and <laughs> drills, probably. Why do people always underestimate me? I don't know. Yeah, I just figured that you wouldn't want to. You did say labourer in a very dismissive way. Well, obviously, I don't want to, but I can. <laughs> I think I'll be amazing at it. I'll probably use a spirit devil. A spirit devil? Mm -hmm. Great. I'm just going to go and see when the designs might be ready for us. Nyla. Hey. Hey. I, um, I wanted to know when the designs might be ready for us. Oh, well, uh, they're looking pretty good, so what do you say then? Like, tomorrow morning? Yeah, that's about how long it takes to turn something genius into something super genius. Super genius? Isn't that like saying something's 110%? No. No, it's not, because when people say 110%, I feel rage not previously known to man, because it makes no mathematical sense. I know, that's why I said it. Well, just to wind me up. Yeah, it's so entertaining. Far cheaper than buying a movie. <laughs> OK, um, tomorrow morning. Great, thanks. <laughs> I don't like that face. It's a sad face. No, it's not. It's a thoughtful face. Well, stop thinking then. I don't like it. If you still want to talk, now's good. Uh, and that's my cue to leave. Lee, I am so sorry. I know I disappeared for a while, and, and not just from college, but for me. me. You disappeared from me. I was in a really difficult place, and I just couldn't figure out the words to. Maybe I. I don't want to listen. I've put everything that belongs to you or reminds me of you in there. What, like a breakup? If you like, yeah. Can I have an explanation? You... You changed me. Before you, I was unsociable and fine. But then you came along and... Suddenly, I'm accepting hugs and discussing feelings and saying things like, you go, girl? I mistakenly thought that was a good thing. It is a good thing. No. It's not. It's not very good to need a friend and that friend not be there. It's left me as not me. More a crying, broken version of me. I'm better off the way I was. On my own. that it looks like a lot of work? Well, not really. Like, the designs look complicated, but it uses minimal materials. I think it's clever. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, you, you know, just um, leave it with us and we'll try and do it justice. OK. OK. Why are you being
being so nice to them. I thought our plan was to hate them forever. That might have been your plan, Nish, but you never really ran that by me. Because you would have disagreed. Yeah, I would have. I don't really hate anyone. Well, I'm not as forgiving. In fact, I had this amazing dream when Nyla and Satori both fell into a lake. Nish. What? They didn't die or anything. They just had serious pond hair and were covered in leeches. <laughs> so, what should I talk to them about? I did a shoot last week where I had to wear a spacesuit and field of cows. Maybe that? Maybe not that. Why not? I just... I don't know if he'll take you seriously. So what should I talk to him about? You like cooking? But I don't cook. I just like watching people on TV cook. I am really good at ordering takeaway, though, so... Maybe. Or, uh I don't know. Ignore me. Just be yourself. But not too much. Exactly. I'm an expert on my dad. Been studying him close range for years. Just listen to me, you will be fine. Hey. Uh, hey. Hey, boy, all right? <laughs> dad, uh, this is Lexi. Lexi, this is Dad. Ah, uh, you can call me Mick. Good afternoon, Mick. How are you? <laughs> Hello, dark room, my old friend. I know, it's a cheesy pun. I used to make a lot of cheesy puns when I was talking to myself. Because I had no one else to talk to. Do you know what? It's pretty great. Ow, stupid wood. Is it the fault of the wood? Well, obviously, it's not my fault. Hey. That's not bad for a novice. <laughs> wow. Did you do all this? There were other people in our group too, you know. But yes, most of it was me. Told you I could use a spirit devil. <laughs> you know, it's, it's actually called a spirit level. Is that relevant? No, not really, that is. This is amazing. The plus side of being a loner, it's good for people watching. But it's only because we're too vain to realize we're terrible. Yeah, and they talk so much. Don't they ever get bored of their own voices? No, but you don't get bored of my voice either. That was before. Seriously, in a zombie apocalypse, it would be worth saving. How's the food, Lexi? I like your food. I like this food. Thank you. So you're a model. How long have you been doing that? Uh, we don't have to talk about it. It's not very interesting. Really? I thought there'd be lots of travel. You know, it sounds pretty glamorous. But sometimes it's not glamorous at all. I once did a shoot in Japan where I had to hold a live octopus. It was just terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so what do your parents think about you modelling? My dad's cool with it, and my mum died, so... I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to... No, no, Lexi, look, it's fine. <laughs> it's very sweet of you to be thoughtful, but I don't mind talking about my wife. That's how I feel. No one wanted to talk about mum when she died, and... It made me kind of angry because she didn't stop existing. I didn't just make her up. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like she's an imaginary friend because I still talk to her even though she's not here. Yeah, me too. But don't tell Dale, though. He'll think I'm soft in the head. <laughs> <laughs> First set design assignment and I'm on light bulb duty. So unfair. I, uh, just need to set this. So, did you really like her? Cos, I've got to be honest, you are so far out of her league. Guess I was feeling charitable. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, look at that, Satori. You really did hurt her. How pathetic. She did not. I am not hurting at all over it. And... Naomi, phone an ambulance. But I... Shut up and do it! Just be okay. You're not allowed to not be okay. Your dad is awesome sauce on awesome chips. I, I had the best time. We should totally have lunch again. Right. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Why only probably? Well, it's, it's hard to tell what he really thinks of some result. Uh, maybe, you know, the stuff about the octopus and your mum didn't go down as well as you think. So I said the wrong thing. But it was either that or not saying anything at all, and I don't know how not to be me. I'm just going to go. Will you find me later? I don't know. Hey. Hi. Excuse me. Uh, do you know where the nearest bus stop is? Sorry, no, I don't live around here. Right, right. Do you have the time? I thought you wanted the bus. No, nah, just wanted to talk to you. You're really pretty. Want to hang out? I just want you to leave me alone. Fine, whatever. Get over yourself, you stuck-up tease. How am I a tease? <laughs> what makes you think that you can talk to me like that? No. Wait, I already know the answer. It's because I existed whilst being a girl, isn't it? Hey! You OK? Yeah, mate. She's just a bit touchy. Don't make me. I'm not your mate. I'm not even your species. A future life lesson for you, when you act like that with girls, it's not flattering, it's intimidating. Or making young women scared. How can you look at yourself? I know I can't look at you. Come on, Lex. Let's leave this sad little man to his lonely little life. OK, that was pretty awesome, sort of. So am I forgiven? Step closer to forgiven. I'm sorry. I got obsessed with what my dad thinks and it made me act weird. I just wanted him to love you as much as I do. What did you just say? I love you. I love you too. Yeah? I got your message. Thought you might want to see the finished set. And um, and I, and I also, so I read this for for the assignment. This is one bit that um. Chide me, dear stone, that I may say indeed thou art Hermione. Or rather, thou art she in thy not chiding. For she was as tender as infancy and grace. Look, look I, I don't know what it means. I, I just... What it means to me is um, he didn't trust Hermione. And he, and he was wrong, because she was, she was always the same, and she was gentle and kind. And look, I, I'm trying to say that I messed up, and, um, and I'm sorry. I just think that he said it a bit better than me, right? I think you both said it pretty well. I'm sorry, too. You do know that, right? Because I blurted out some things that I really shouldn't have... It's just... How it happened is. Also, I made you 
this. <laughs> so, you finally concede. Otters are cuter than cows. Well, let's not get carried away. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Um, hello? Yeah, this is Nyla Malik. Which ward? Yeah, I'll be there straight away. It's Lee. She's collapsed and I, I need to... I'll, I'll come with you. <laughs> Guys, look, she's awake. Am I the hoopy? Because this doesn't feel very real. You had appendicitis. You passed out. What? And you brought me here? I mean, I didn't drive the ambulance, but... Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to come, though. None of you did. Actually, I did. Um... Any chance you guys could... I'll give you a minute. Yeah, yeah, of course. I put you down as my in case of emergency. I'll change it. Don't. I want to be your in case of emergency. And I promise that, despite recent events, I am definitely up to the task. That's good. Because I'm not sure anyone else is. I mean, I have people in my life now. I accept that. But you're more than that. In case of emergency, I want you. Okay, can we hug now? No, no. I have just had my appendix taken out. But, um... You can hug me later. It's okay. I can hug her later. I know, falling asleep at my desk is really bad. But in my defense, catching up on all the stuff I've missed has been really tiring. I don't know how I've gotten through it. You work too hard, so I come bearing recreational choices. What if I like working too much? Then you get ill, and we hang out a lot. And if you get ill, then I get ill. And if I get ill, then how can I maintain my high levels of awesomeness? OK, good point. So pass me the Rubik's Cube. You know that of all the recreational choices, you've gone for the least recreational one. Hey, you bought it, so gimme. <laughs> That's how I've gotten through it. Real tailoring isn't just a snug fit. The perfect suit jacket should look formal, but not feel it. It should feel like a second skin. And as you should have guessed, that's what you're going to be making this week. I've brought experienced tailor Georgina Fenner, who made this suit and is an ex-Athena student in To Mark Your Work. Tailoring has always meant a lot to me. I think that's because I'm the youngest of my siblings. The whole time I was in high school, I wore a blazer that belonged to my six-foot-tall older brother. Hardly a good look. <laughs> It wasn't until I came here and started making my own clothes that I actually began to feel like me. But Ali and I have decided that making a formal jacket for yourselves isn't what we want for the assignment. We want you to design a jacket for someone else. You get to decide who. Now, the cut you choose and the materials should be tailored to the personality of the person wearing it. Think about what's right for them, for who they are. Don't make them feel like an awkward high school kid in their older brother's blazer. <laughs> I mean, Lenny's kind. How do you express kind in a jacket? But then he's funny and, and excitable. But then he's clever and loyal. I guess he's kind of like a Labrador. 
Isn't Knight your favourite dog? Yeah. Nyla, have you ever thought you and um, Lenny might be more than friends? Because I likened him to a Labrador. But it's your favourite dog because it has all the qualities you like. Meaning Lenny has all the qualities you like. But not the friend kind of like. The other kind of like. <laughs> OK, this is going to need 26 seconds. Are you ready for the next step in your 70s punk rock education? You're going to play it anyway, so I might as well be ready. I'm very wise, Miss Malik. This is 26 Seconds by Anna and the Lies. It's only 26 seconds long. Does that even count as a song? This is more than a song. When I have a dilemma, it turns out 26 seconds is the ideal length of time for me to figure it out. This is more than a song. This is a decision maker. One, two, three, four! 26 seconds. Five. 26. OK. I like Lenny. I like Lenny a lot. I like hanging out in his room and listening to 70s punk, but there isn't that feeling. The handstand feeling. The what? That's what I call it. With Dale, suddenly everything went upside down and I knew. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So, no. No handstand feeling. Hey Lee, want to work over here? There's plenty of room. No, I'm good. So, who are you making your jacket for? No one. So it's Lee then? Since her appendix burst, you've been all pathetic about her? No. Maybe. Just shut up. <laughs> Hi. Uh... Hey. Okay, I just wanted to see if it's cool if I made my jacket for you, but... You can't, because I'm making Sam a jacket. I was first. I call dibs. You call dibs? What are you, five? Lenny, you don't get to talk to anyone about maturity. Oh, just because I recently got a bubble machine in my bedroom doesn't mean I'm immature. Uh, it does too. No, it means I like bubble machines. Okay, can, can we all just maybe stop? This is getting a bit weird. Exactly. Walk away, Lenny. You're making Sam feel weird. No, that, that isn't what... Wow, that is a lot of me. Yeah, I am pretty committed. Is it that, or is it like the bit in a film when the cop finds a serial killer's basement? Hey, you know that is the best part of the film, so quit complaining. OK. You are right? Yeah, I guess. You sure? Cos you look pensive. Feeling a bit reflective. OK, so we've got pensive and reflective. Something is very wrong. I had this idea that if I made my jacket for Sam, that things would get back on track. But it turns out that the F bit, BFF, doesn't always quite work out. Sometimes it just stands for best friends for a while. That's sad. We're not going to grow apart, are we? No chance. No. We're BFFFs, best friends forever. For sure, you're stuck with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. But still no handstand feeling. Hang on. Is this a cape? Are you doing a cape for my jacket? Maybe. I need your measurements. You're making your jacket for me? Yes! But don't hug me or I'll change my mind. What if I squeal excitedly? Same effect. In that case, fine, yeah, cool, whatever. Yeah, you really don't suit me with emotions, do you? Who are you making yours for? Lenny. Good. Is it? Yes. You're making something special. He deserves that. I, uh, still feel bad about what happened. I am when it was his birthday. Don't look at me like that. Sorry, no looks, no judgment. I judge me. Look, bad timing isn't something you can always control. Unless it wasn't Lenny's birthday. 
Are you suggesting rewinding time? Because I don't think that's feasible. Rewinding time isn't, but Lenny needs cheering up. And a birthday do-over is. And what exactly is a birthday do-over? Not sure yet, but whatever it is, it involves cake. One time, I went to a magazine launch party and they had an actual bouncy castle. That is my idea of hell. Lenny would like it. Yeah, he would. But what I think he'd like more is getting the band back together. Mm. I'll talk to Sam and then sort out the basis situation. I don't like this material. I don't know, it feels okay. I'm not going for okay, Samuel. I'm going for perfect. Look at you, doing more work than is absolutely necessary. You are like a different girl this time. So, Sam? So, Nyla? I need to ask a favour. Yeah, I got that from your opener. I need a drummer. Well, actually, Lenny needs a drummer. He wants to get the band back together? Yes, but he doesn't know it yet. What are you plotting? A belated birthday party for Lenny. I thought the surprise would be a better surprise if this was part of it. Well, that's a ridiculous idea because no one likes surprises. Lenny does. When are you planning this shindig? Oh, tomorrow after the presentation. Sam can't do it. Sam can speak for himself. But, yeah, um, Nisha and I have got tickets to go to the cinema tomorrow afternoon. Sorry, Nyla, maybe another day? But another day won't be the same. And don't you want things with Lenny to go back to the way they were? Yeah, but we don't need, like, a big night for that to happen. It's different with guys. Isn't that kind of sexist? Maybe. But look, I'll tell you how it's going to go. We're going to find ourselves out with a group of people, and then we'll fall into talking with the group. And one of you will apologise. No, we'll just go back to pretending like it never happened. At the very most, there might be, like, a... nod. Wow. OK. Well, uh... I guess I'll find another drummer. No, it's OK. I get it. Air drumming is different to real drumming. I just thought, you know, the skills would be transferable. Oh, finding a drummer is really hard. Don't be sad. Even without a band, it's still a party, and parties are awesome sauce on awesome chips. Really? Are they, though? Mm-hmm. There's dancing and tiny sandwiches, and then there's more dancing, and we get to wear suits this time, and did I already mention the dancing? Mm-hmm. Maybe, even though I can't find a drummer, I can find a bassist. You're not seriously considering Naomi, are you? What? She's good. And she's done it before. She has a moody look on her face all the time. Yeah, but it sort of gave it a bit of an edge. You know what I mean? Naomi is a she-witch with a dark soul, and she made your life hell. I know. But Lenny didn't, and I'm doing this for him, not her. I'll see you guys in a bit. All the machines are taken. No, only two of the machines are taken. Fine, but we still don't want you here. OK, well, this isn't going to take long. Um, would you like to play bass with Lenny tomorrow night? No. Why not? Because I hate you and everything you stand for. What do I stand for? You smile too much. Not around you. <laughs> OK, but this isn't about hatred. You like playing the bass, and I'm giving you an opportunity to do just that. The answer's still no. Why did you pick the bass? There are so many other instruments you can play by yourself, like piano or lead guitar or, I don't know, cello. But the bass is meant to be played with other instruments, and you chose it. I chose it when I was 14. Things change, and we're done here. Well, I tried. Hey, Nyla. This thing tomorrow night is Lee going. Yeah, she's helping me organise it. Can I come? Sure. What am I supposed to do tomorrow night with you not around? No clue. I think you should have said yes to Nyla. I mean, you have this thing where you only ever talk to one person, and life is just boring that way. I don't think so. Let's be honest. 
We're already running out of things to say to each other. You okay? You seem quiet. I'm okay. So when I do shoots, I have to make this say something like carefree or sassy. Carefree, sassy, and uh, laughing at salad. What you did was not, I'm okay. Sorry. You're right. I'll be a rubbish model. <laughs> so? It's this party tomorrow. Do we really have to go? Because I don't think I'll fit in. I mean, it's art college. Everyone's so cool and I'm not. You're cool. You're very cool. You even make drinking tea look cool. It sounds boring, I know, but my perfect evening would just be me and you, watching bad telly, eating pizza. Yeah, but we do that a lot. We're doing that now. And you like parties, so ignore me. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll try again. <clears throat> It'll be good. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it really was. You should totally stick to plumbing. <laughs> I have an imperfect solution to the situation. Which situation? Because there are a lot. Actually, the only thing that has worked out was the fact that the shop had streamers. The uh, back of a drummer situation. Look. Yeah, it sounds horrible, but it does vaguely resemble drumming. And we have a bassist. OK, things might actually be OK. Oh, please stop. What? I'm beginning to like it. Seriously? So, encapsulating Lenny in a jacket. Something fun and fearless. Presenting your friendly neighborhood rock god man child. Yeah, this is that jacket. And it is pretty hideous. Is it safe to enter? You haven't been building a life size robot version of me or anything, have you? Have you been looking at my mood board? What? No. You are still going with the cape, though, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. What's up? I wanted to get you, and I just don't think I'm there yet. Yeah, well, there is a lot of me to get because of all my layers. Your layers? Yes, I have many of them. I'm like 75% lasagna. OK, I know you're 75% joking, but you're actually right. And you need to go. Mean? Not mean. I need to finish your jacket. <laughs> I designed this for my dad. He's not here to back me up, but trust me, the design and fit are perfect for him. I like it, but I can't mark based on trust, so I'm grading you a B. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next up, Nisha. So I made a jacket for Sam. Some of you may think it's quite simple, but that's because Sam doesn't like things too flashy or shiny. Also, I chose the colour because it really brings out the colour of his eyes. It's different for you, Nisha, and I'm really impressed. Because it's right for Sam. I agree. I'm grading you an A. <laughs> Finally, the grade I deserve. <laughs> OK, next we have Satori. Mine is for Lee. Um, Lee, you'd better get up here. So, talk us through it. I know Lee would have wanted something as nondescript as possible, but I don't see her as that. I don't see her as nondescript at all. How do you feel in it, Lee? I don't hate it. Me neither. I'm grading you a B. It's very good. Thank you, Satori. And finally, we have Nyla. I made my jacket for Lenny. So what makes you think this encapsulates Lenny? Well, 
Lenny's funny and fun. And he's not just the kind of guy that has a bubble machine in his bedroom, but he's kind and strong. And he's far, far more mature than he lets on. <laughs> and I wanted the jacket to show that. That's it. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I am a bit gutted that it hasn't got a cape. Wait, don't jump to conclusions. <laughs> For emergencies, you said you wanted the jacket to encapsulate all of Lenny. Okay, I'm grading another A. <laughs> this has been really impressive, guys. <laughs> okay, thank you, everybody. Um, now, neither's asked me to say something. Uh, suit up canteen in ten. I have absolutely no idea what that means. So, Lenny, there's uh, something I want to show you. Birthday, so welcome to your birthday do-over. You did this for me? Yeah, me and Lee. Oh, this is too much. Oh, it's a shame you think that, because there's more. <laughs> now everyone can see how awesome you are and how great my jacket is. Oh! <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> go, 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 go. So, Sam has a thing, and I can't drum, but I do have an app. Thank you. Hi, uh, so, yeah, we're the local superhero orchestra. Except we can't be that without Sam, so I guess we're the band. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Go! Okay, so I'm usually late to things, but not this late. Oh, you look hot in a suit. Hey, hey, have you been crying? Oh, no, uh, hay fever. I'll meet you there, just text me. What's going on? Sorry. I'm, I'm being stupid. I should have... Today's the anniversary of my mum's. That's when she died. Oh, Dale. No, don't be all nice. I'm an idiot. It's no different to any other day. Not really. I'm just not great with suits. Last time I wore this was... Oh, I'm so, so sorry. No. The last thing I want to do is make you upset. You're so excited about the party. I was excited about the party, but not anymore. Something's more important. The dancing, the tiny sandwiches. I don't care. I just want to be with you. Go! Go! So, tell me again how much you like your jacket. Mish, I've told you 18 times already. I've been counting. So, wouldn't it be nice to make it 20? I like it. I like it. Go, go. I just want to go and um, drop this off. It's a birthday card for Lenny. I'll be long. Anyway, this looks amazing. If only Sam had agreed to drum. Lenny looks pretty happy though. That drum machine sound is an insult to music. Sam, I know what you're thinking, but we'll miss the film. So, we missed the film. You know what, this is more important. <laughs> okay, uh, we are the local superhero orchestra. Okay. One, wait. Two. 
This next song I want to dedicate to my really, really awesome friends, Lee, Sam, and uh, Nyla, my BFFF. <laughs> She'll know what it means. Uh, this is 26 seconds. Okay. Handstand feeling. We're electrically connected. We're lighting our own way. We've got this all together, no matter what they say. 